Hi friends, welcome to Raquel's plant-based channel. Well, today I'm gonna to be making one of the easiest vegan meals you can think of. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this is gonna be like a, a vegetable noodle recipe. All right, so we have half an onion, you could use any kind of onion. I just prefer red, so whatever you have on hand. And peppers, got a half a pepper. This is gonna be about two to three servings. Two to three people, rather. And then we have some broccoli. I'm probably gonna, I like mushrooms with this recipe, but our son doesn't like mushrooms, so I'm probably going to cook those separately. All right, and then I have some bok choy. And then I'm using one stalk of scallion just as a topping when it's all done. So we're going to let this cook for a few minutes until the veggies are nice and soft. Okay, so everything looks like it's nice and tender. The onions look translucent, so that's my uh, telltale sign. All right, now I'm gonna open up udon noodles. And these are the ones that are available in my store, so. Let's see. I'm gonna open both of them. Since I doubled everything in the original recipe because the original recipe was just for one serving and I'm making this different than the original recipe and I'll have the original recipe in the description so you'll get the full taste of how it's really supposed to taste my our son just doesn't want me to put in peanut butter and the original recipe calls for peanut butter. So I'm adjusting it according to what he likes. Now the udon noodles have to cook for two to three minutes. I'm just gonna break them up here. They're already pre-cooked as you can tell. They're soft. I'm just gonna mix it all about. I hope it's warm where y'all are at today because it sure is cold in Kentucky. Matter of fact, it's warmer in New York than it is here. So, all right, so we'll cover this up and let this cook for about another minute or two. Okay. Okay, so let's check on this now. And I'm adding my little mixture. I have two tablespoons of liquid aminos, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and it calls for a spicy paste, and the only thing I have that's close to it is the Korean, Korean chili sauce. So, all right, so let's mix this up. And folks, that's it. You just mix it up. Oh, I added some spaghetti squash because I hate for things to go to waste. And I just added it. It's just going to add to the color and the taste. And I just love spaghetti squash. So don't let your veggies go to waste. Use them up. And that's the finished product. All right. Well, let's fix us a plate and let's manja. Okay, friends, well, here's the finished product. Of course, I put my little sriracha in there and I put my scallions on top also. So let's try it. Mmm, that's good. This is the first time I'm ever having udon noodles. They're really good. Normally, I wouldn't like thick noodles, but these have a nice doughy consistency, and I really like them. I also put my mushrooms on top. 
love mushrooms. It's nice and thick and chewy. Um, it's funny how your <clears throat> taste buds change when you get older. It used to be that I didn't like mm. mushrooms, but now I do. So please try this recipe. Let me know what you think about it. Like, share, and subscribe, and press the little bell. God bless.